Hi guys, so now we are going to start solving problem using the combined gas law. So, napag-aralan na natin to last time, no? Kung ano ba tong combined gas law. So, basically, combination lang siya ng Boyle's law, Charles law, and Gay-Lussac's law. In Boyle's law, this is a, an ideal gas law uh, that is applied if we have constant temperature. Charles law is ideal gas law that is applied if we are working with constant pressure. And Gay-Lussac's law is the ideal gas law that we use if we have constant volume. Now, in combined gas law, wala tayong constant pressure, wala tayong constant volume, at wala rin tayong constant temperature. Lahat ng values natin dito ay nagbabago. So, if we have condition 1 and condition 2, katulad ng mga previous examples natin, it will be different pagdating sa condition 2, no? So, let's say in our condition 1, we have P1, V1, over T1. Okay? Katulad ng nakikita natin dito. But, P v times V over temperature is always constant. So, hindi siya nagbabago, no? Yung kanilang value. But, yung value mismo ng pressure nagbabago, yung volume nagbabago, yung temperature nagbabago. Pero, it, kapag minultiply mo yung pressure sa volume and then divide sa temperature, you will always get the same value here. It will be a constant. Kahit na mag-iba ka pa ng condition. So, that means, in our condition 2, it will still be the same value as this one. So, we will have here P2, V2, over T2. Okay, so this is our combined gas law. No? Ito yung equation na gagamitin natin. Okay, so now, let us try to solve this problem in here. Para hindi tayo mahirapan, kailangan, identify muna natin yung initial and final condition. So, we can write this as condition 1. And we have condition 2. Okay? Para mas ma-visualize natin yung nangyayari. A gas has a volume of 8 milliliter at negative 23 degrees Celsius and 300 torr. What should be the volume of the gas at 227 degrees Celsius and 600 torr of pressure? Okay, so given yung ating initial condition, which is our volume, which is P1, 800 milliliter, our temperature 1 is negative 23 degrees Celsius, and our pressure 1 is equal to 300 torr. Okay, now, uh, our second condition Binigay sa atin yung ating temperature, our T2, is equal to 227 degrees Celsius. And our pressure 2 is equal to 600 torr. Okay, so ang pinahanap sa atin is yung volume. What would be the volume of the gas? Okay, so our V2 is unknown. Now, Katulad nung mga binanggit natin last time, uh, in working with ideal gas laws, siguraduhin natin that our temperatures are expressed in absolute temperature. So, in here, lahat is naka-express sa degree Celsius, so kailangan natin yung i-convert sa Kelvin. So, starting with our temperature 1, which is negative 23 degree Celsius, and we're going to add 273.15. So, therefore, our T1 is equal to, so we have 250.15 Kelvin. And for our T2, we have 227 degree Celsius plus 273.15. So, therefore, our T2 is equal to, okay, so let us solve for that, 227 plus 273.15. So, we have 500.15 Kelvin. Okay, so now, nakuha na natin lahat ng ating mga kailangan. No? So, we just need to apply our um, equation for combined gas law. 
So we know that we have P1, P1 over P1 is equal to P2, V2 over P2. Okay, so substitute lang natin lahat ng ating mga values dito. So starting with our pressure 1. Our pressure 1 is 300 torr. Then our volume 1 is ito, 800 milliliter. Divided by our T1. So our T1 is 250.15 Kelvin. And this is equal to our P2, which is 600 Tor. Multiplied to our V2. Our V2 is unknown. Yan ang hinahanap natin. And divide that to our T2, which is 500.15 Kelvin. Okay? So, kailangan nating makuha is yung V2. So, we have our V2, which is equal to, transpose natin itong mga values natin dito. We have 300 Tor times 800 milliliter times 500.15 Kelvin divided by 250.15 Kelvin okay, times 600 Tor. Okay? So, now, check natin yung ating mga units. No? So, we have Tor in the numerator and Tor in denominator. So, we can cancel that. We have Kelvin in the denominator and Kelvin in the numerator. So, we can cancel that out. So, may iwan sa atin is yung unit na uh, milliliter. So, now we can solve for our V2. Okay? So, I will write our answer here, our V2. Okay? So, I will write our answer here, our V2. So, solve muna natin siya, no? Okay. Let us have it here. We have 300 times 800 times 500.15 divided by 250.15 and divided by 600. So we have 799.76. Milliliters. So this is our final answer for this problem. Okay? So let us have another example. Now, a transport company specializes in the shipment of pressurized gaseous material. Okay? So meron tayong kumpanya dito na nagta-transport ng mga pressurized gaseous materials. Ngayon, may nakuha siyang order. Ang order niya, according to this statement here, an order is received for 100 liter of particular gas at STP, which means at 32 degree Fahrenheit and 1 atmosphere. What minimum volume tank is necessary to transport the gas at 80 degree Fahrenheit and a maximum pressure of 9 atmosphere? Okay, first we need to evaluate our problem. Katulad ng sabi ko kanina, mahalaga na ma-identify natin our condition 1 and our condition 2. Okay? So, alin dito yung ating condition 1 and condition 2? Okay, so sabi dito, an order is received for 100 liters of particular gas at 32 degree Fahrenheit and 1 atmosphere. So, ibig sabihin, ang gusto ng customer is ma-receive nila ito ang kanilang order at this specification, 100 liter ang volume, 32 degree Fahrenheit, and 1 atmosphere. But, itong company natin dito, sila yung magta-transport ng ating material. So, so, they need to transport our material not having this condition. So, ang condition natin is 80 degree Fahrenheit and 9 atmosphere. So, ano yung volume na kailangan natin uh, para pareho pa rin siya ng ating condition dito, no? Uh, our constant, you remember, according to our combined gas law, uh, this is constant. Okay? So, this combination here, okay, this combination here can also be the same 
of this one, basta it will meet the requirement ng volume natin, di ba? Okay, so in my case, I will choose this one, yung gustong ma-receive ng ating customer as our condition 2. Because this is the condition uh, finally ng uh, gas na in-order ng customer na makakarating sa kanila, no? So, I will choose that at the condition number 2. So, according to our condition number 2, uh, the volume is 100 liter. Gusto ng customer, ma-receive nila 100 liter ng ating gas. Okay? Now, it should have a temperature of 32 degree Fahrenheit and a pressure 2 of 1 atmosphere. Okay? But, we are going to transport it at a different um, condition. So, ang pinahanap sa atin, gano'ng maraming volume? Hindi natin alam. But, our temperature 1 is known. We have 80 degree Fahrenheit here and 9 atmosphere pressure. Okay, so, this is what we're going to transport at ito yung kailangan ma-receive ng customer. So, ano dapat yung ating volume para ma-meet natin itong ganitong condition. Okay? So, sabi natin, lahat ng temperature natin should be expressed in absolute temperature. So, therefore, our degree Fahrenheit should be expressed in Rankine. Okay? So, we have T1 is equal to 80 degree Fahrenheit plus 460. So, therefore, our T1 is equal to 80 plus 460 is equal to 540 Rankine. And for our temperature 2, we have 32 degree Fahrenheit plus 460. So our T2 is equal to, okay, again, 32 plus 460 is equal to 492, no? So, we have 492 Rankine, okay? So, now, we can use our combined gas law equation. We have P1, V1 over T1 is equal to P2, V2 over T2. So, substitute natin yung mga values natin, ano? So, our pressure 1 is this one. We have 9 atmosphere times our V1. Di natin alam yung V1 natin, no? So, this is our variable. Over our T1. Our T1 is 80 degree. Ah, uh, sorry. Our T1 is 540 Rankine. So, we have 540 Rankine. So, this is equal to, okay, our pressure 2, which is uh, 1 atmosphere. And then, our V2 is 100 liters. And then, our temperature is 492 Rankine. So, ang inahanap natin is yung V1, so we should isolate that. So, ta-transpose natin itong 9 atmosphere and 540 Rankine. So, we have V1 is equal to 1 atmosphere times 100 liters times 540 Okay, 540 Rankine over uh, this one, 492 Rankine times 9 atmosphere. So, check natin yung ating mga units. You can see we have atmosphere here and atmosphere here, so that's cancelled. We have Rankine here and Rankine here, so that is cancelled. Okay, so, ang may iwan sa atin is unit na liter. So, we have V1 is equal to, now we can solve for our volume. Okay, so, we have here um, 100 times 540 divided by 492 divided by 9. So, we have 12.195 liters. So, this is our final answer here.
Okay? So, para makareceive yung customer natin ng 100 liters ng ating material uh, at 32 degree Fahrenheit and 1 atmosphere, we can transport, okay, 12.195 liters of our gas at 80 degree Fahrenheit and 9 atmosphere. Okay? So, that is how we use the combined gas law in solving problems for ideal gas, which as you can see, wala tayong constant na variable. Okay? So, nagbago ang ating pressure, temperature, and volume. Okay? So, in order to practice yung mga napag-aralan natin sa ideal gas law, it's better to search for other problems sa different references natin and see if you can get the correct answer. So, that's all for now. Thank you very much and have a nice day. To watch more of our lecture videos about engineering and STEM subjects, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa mga videos na ia-upload namin. We are regularly uploading tutorial videos in engineering, mathematics, chemistry, physics, at iba pang subject na magagamit ninyo sa inyong pagre-review. So, thank you very much sa patuloy ninyong pagsuporta sa engineers.org.